Hello friends, this is lesson number 51 in the series of Literary Criticism and Theories. Today, in this lesson, we shall discuss A.J. Grimus. And the full name is Algardes Julian Grimus. He was born in the country Lithuania and later went to France and got the French nationality. So, we know him as a French linguistic structuralist. He was born in the year 1917 and died 1992. He is famous for his work and the name is Structural Semantic published in the year 1966. And the subtitle to this work is An Attempt at a Method. And in this work he talks about Actential Model of a Plot. Now what is Actential Model? A few videos before we were talking about Vladimir Prop and he talked about seven or eight types of different characters in Russian folk stories. The same way he also analyzed that what sort of characters one can find in a plot and what sort of roles are there. So we shall discuss this. So the first the title as I told you that extension model this word comes from the word act act and then the words we have like actor actant acting according to him every story has different roles functions and actions and primarily he says that there are six main actants in every story here actants means the characters six main actors actant means the one who performs the act or action and he takes these names as subject, object, helper, opponent, sender, receiver. So first we take subject. Subject is much like a hero, the main central character. And his interest could be termed as an object. Such object could be his desire, could be his love interest, maybe the heroine, the female actor. And then the next character helper quite obvious the person who helps the hero that is helper and then opponent could be like a villain the person who is opposite who is always there to create problems for the hero that is opponent and then sender sender is much like dispatcher who is providing him some target that could be like a king or maybe the father of a heroine and then we have the last one that is receiver. The receiver could be the person who gets the benefit when there is the unification or the meeting of the subject and object. So the element like sender or receiver could be the same in most of the stories. So these are the six main actants. Again I repeat subject the hero object could be his love interest heroine or any particular thing helper is much like uh, as we have in the model given by vladimir prop where he talked about helper the person who assists the hero then opponent is much like a villain who is always there to put hurdles in the ways of the subject and then we have sender and receiver sender or receiver could be taken as who are there to provide some sort of a target or mission to the subject or hero. And after that we have three axes. He talks about three axes around which any plot revolves. And which are these three axes? The first desire, the next power and the third transmission. So first to desire. Subject or hero always has a desire and he has desire for the object so in other words we can say subject and object are connected through desire then we have power so the helper is providing some sort of assistance power to the subject so we see in the relation of subject and helper there is the axis of power and in the relation of subject and opponent then again there comes power because there is a struggle and then we have sender and receiver so they are always transmitting something so they are connected to the subject through the axis of transmission. So that is all about the six actants. Again, I repeat the six major actant actors. We have subject, object, helper, opponent, sender and receiver. 
and then there are three axes around which the relation can be formed between these characters or the actants. Subject and object have a relation of the desire, the axis around which they revolve, there is desire and helper, <coughs> sorry, and helper and subject, they are connected through power, the axis of power and opponent and subject also are connected through power and then sender and receiver both are connected to the subject through the axis that is transmission so they are providing something as a target as a mission or something so that is all about aj grimus structural semantic the work was published in the year 1966 so that's it for this lesson in the next lesson we shall discuss another structuralist so we have only a few more left and then we shall move to the another topic. So thanks a lot for watching this lesson and have a great day.